Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you to the conclusion of the not World Baseball Classic, World Cup of Baseball, and the conclusion of Out of the Park Baseball 18. Before we start the game, I want to thank every single person who's watched even one of these videos. The reason this channel is a success is because of OTP 18, and I'm honored and touched that so many of you have taken the time to reach out to me, either in the comments or on Twitter. Um, or possibly shouting at me in the street. That hasn't happened yet, but maybe it will. I don't know. Um, so I just wanted to, to take a moment to thank everyone for that. Um, OTP 18 has been a lot of fun to play. I look forward to OTP 19 an awful lot. But we have to finish last things first. Or first things last, first things first. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so what we're going to be doing, um, we got bounced, Puerto Rico got defeated by Japan, and so we're going to be playing against Japan, trying to get revenge as Venezuela, the other team in the surprising conclusion to the World Baseball, World Cup of Baseball. I'm going to say it once wrong, and I'm going to get content ID'd. Um, we have one really big advantage they don't have, and his name is Jose Altuve who I just read while I was in the bathroom, um, just signed a new extension for the Houston Astros. So congratulations to Jose. And we've got Felix Hernandez going. So I think we've got a pretty fair chance of what's going to happen. Um, before we begin the game, I did want to just throw out a couple of general comments about OTP18 as a game. First of all, to Marcus Heinzone and the crew at Out of the Park Developments, absolutely brilliant job with 18. I have almost no significant complaints. Um, which is saying a lot because I'm I'm usually kind of critical about most games. Except for the original Deus Ex and I will fight you on that. Um, the original Deus Ex was gaming perfection and nothing will ever shake that image in my mind. Um, there's some things they can do better. And it definitely seems like OTP is going to be incorporating some of those into 19. In particular, the inf interface is a lot cleaner. Um, there are just things like making trades easier. Um, even adding the ability to shop more than one player at once. Like, just say, I want to trade these two players. What kind of package can I get back in return? Although I also understand that would be a, a challenge to code. Um, on an AI level, so I'm not I'm not super fussed if that doesn't come to pass. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to the new scouting. Um, in general, a little more speed would always be helpful, especially playing with multiple leagues like I tend to do. But other than that, those are really my only major critiques. And, and once the UI is improved and I get a chance to play with OTP 19 a bit, I'll then have a few moments um, at the beginning of Thursday's video where I talk about the major changes I've already seen and what I like. Um, so what am I going to be doing for Thursday, you may ask? Well, <coughs> the problem is the past of Indian doesn't know what future of Indian will know, which is how the poll that's currently running on Twitter is going to turn out. Um, by the time you see this video, the poll will have already been finished. Um, as I look at this today, um, I just had a seventh person vote, so we're definitely seeing people wanting to see more frequent videos with shorter seasons, which I'm totally up for. Um, and right now, it's looking like a possibility of playing as the Phillies, because two people mentioned the Phillies, and no other team has been mentioned more than once. Um... However, I am also debating on whether or not I actually want to play a historical franchise for the first series. Just for one simple reason, I don't know how they're going to incorporate scouting into the historical franchises. So what I might do is maybe start off with the Indians or some modern team and then go historical a little bit later on. But I'm definitely curious to hear what people think about that. Um, and you'll have more information when you see Thursday's video. Thursday's video will not be posted in the morning. It will be posted at night because I won't have the game and I've got this thing called work. I know it sucks. Um, so I won't be able to play till I get home. And there's things like dinner and yeah, 
So I will play and I will upload, but it'll be Thursday night. It will not be Thursday morning. So if you wake up Thursday morning like, oh my god, there's no video. You'll still have Stellaris or possibly Hearts of Iron Force. I don't know how Stellaris will turn out. Um, so don't be too fussed. Please? Right. So without any further adieu, which actually makes no sense because adieu is goodbye in French. It should be without further ado, which is a totally different word. Um, we're going to be taking the helm of Venezuela and trying to unseat Japan. So this is our lineup. There are many like it, but this one is ours. No. Um, we've got a very good top of the lineup. We've got Jose Altuve and our NCRTE. Eh. But Miguel Cabrera, yes. Carlos Gonzalez, yes. Um... Hernan Perez has been really good in the playoffs, but probably not good enough to bump up. I will move Salvador Perez up. We're actually going to have Salvador Perez bat second. See, this is one of the flaws of the AI. The AI sees that Enciarte is a good contact hitter and that he's fast and therefore thinks he should be near the top of the lineup. In reality... You want the best possible hitter you can get there. Which actually might be Solarte. Where's Solarte hitting right now? He's hitting fifth. Mm, maybe we will actually go ahead and leave Ender where he is. Maybe we'll leave him where he is. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Why are we playing Odubel Herrera ever? Wait, aren't you like a really great center fielder? Yeah, you are. What about Herrera? Herrera's trash, mate. Uh, no. You are not starting at left field. You're starting at center field. Is Solarte even a good third baseman? He's a reasonable third baseman. Okay, we can keep him there. So who do we have play left? I'd rather actually put Herrera in left. Yeah. Because you want the very best outfielder you've got playing center. Um, this could save us a couple of runs. we got Felix Hernandez pitching. Hernandez offers. Hernandez is one of those rare pitchers who at a very young age mastered lots of different pitches. Uh, he's got a change-up slider, curveball, fastball, and sinker. All of them roughly the same skill. He's actually lost a lot of speed off his fastball, but he's still a very good pitcher. Um, just in 2016, um, this past season. Not this past season, because past season was 2017. That's still a, a fairly decent season. It's not his former brilliance, but it's still pretty decent. And I'm, I'm very eager to see how Felix Hernandez ages, because um, he's got a shot. In real life, um, major league level, please. He's got a shot at 200 wins, and that might be what he needs to get into the Hall of Fame someday. So, let's start the game. Creating pictures. Yeah, Ender in Inciarte was actually a gold glove in center field, so we got one at second, and we got one catching. Felix Hernandez is going to be dealing to Koske. Tanaka. God damn. Oh, snap. Oh, that's bad. He let off the game with a home run? Boo indeed, Venezuelan fans. That's some hot garbage. This little, tiny little... Designated hitter who had like no hits. And you walk Uchikawa? Oh shit. Alright, you got someone to strike out by throwing a bunch of pitches that really shouldn't have been thrown where they were. See, he's throwing a bunch of stuff right down in the middle of the plate. He's gonna get hit hard today if he can't get it under control. Nice stopping stop by Herrera, and he's injured, and he shakes it off. Okay. 
That's better. This is what we need to see from Felix Fernandez. He needs to keep the ball down. Damn. Come on, Altuve. How about you hit a home run in your first pitch? That's a weak ground ball to shortstop. Look, I'm the manager. I tell you what to do. If I tell you to hit a home run, you hit that damn home run. Not you, Ender. I don't think you can handle it. But I will take a lovely little single. Miguel, come on, Miggy. Double, triple crown winner. A nice little flare. Ooh, yes, push it. Run, mate, run. Yes! That was a little closer than I would have liked, but I wanted to create some noise. Come on, Cargo. Get at least a sack fly. I asked for a sack fly. I'm getting a sack fly. Um, yes, you're going to tag up, obviously. He was out? Oh, shit. Damn. I want to replay that. Okay, really? You stood there for a good three to four seconds more than you needed to. That's on you, mate. That was the right strategic decision. You just screwed it up. That sinker's up. Get it down. Get it down. There we go. And another shirt. But he's throwing a lot of pitches. He's over 30 pitches, and he's only thrown two innings. Come on, young Garvis. I don't actually know how to say his name. Nice work, mate. Para Yangervis, Yangervis Solarte. I always thought his name was Ruffed Odor for the longest time until I realized it was an N and not an H. Get him, Salvador Perez. A nice little seeing eye single. He's been on fire during these playoffs. Hernan Perez, the secret workhorse behind this team hits the weakest looking pop fly I've ever seen Odubo Herrera takes a walk hmm. Altuve drive it in uh, ah, damn it I like that was that's obviously supposed to be crazy trained by Ozzy Osbourne but they obviously didn't want to get copyright busted but that was that was dangerous and close to the opening uh to the I'm sorry, the main course of Crazy Train. A balk? Really? Come on, Felix. Get your shit together. This is really bad. Hernandez has just been outright not acceptable. Well that's a help. Alright, let's get some double play depth going on. Do you want to bring the outfield in? I don't know anything. No, not for Yamada. Yeah! Good work, defense. Brilliant. Get him, Ender. I'm going to stop telling people to get him. I think they're maybe getting a little confused. Whatever you do, do not get him, Miguel Carrera. And he struck out. Well, the hell do I know? Come on, Carlos. Yes. The journey of a thousand runs begins with a single base hit. Solarte. Strike out. -a. Okay, really? All those pitches clustered in the dead center of the strike zone, and you couldn't get on top of any of them. Mate. Mate. That was an... Mm, that was a foul ball. Oh, shit. <sighs> Felix, you are hot garbage today. I don't know what on earth you think you're doing, but you keep leaving the ball up. You're a grand ball freaking pitcher. Down in the strike zone. I see you get out of this inning, but I'm replacing you. 
You know, pitching was supposed to be something we were fairly good at. And we just have not gotten any that of pitching that was that great. He can't seem to keep the ball in the yard. And that's... Yeah, we gotta pull him out early. Because this is for all the marbles, mates. All the marbles. Martin Perez, how tired are you? You're only a little tired. Get your ass ready. You're coming in. By the way, if this was the real World Baseball Classic, the managers would be calling furiously. Like, why are you forcing pitchers to pitch on short rests? It's just a silly tournament. And I'd say, don't you have any Venezuelan... Really, Perez? You swing at that garbage. We're helping him out, guys. We're helping him out. <sighs> He's really mixing the fastball and changeup together well. I'm actually kind of impressed. Get in there, Martine. Get us something. No, don't give up another home run. Okay, that's just a, a fly ball. It's okay. Ooh, he's got a circle change. So a circle change is gripped a little bit differently from a standard changeup, and generally it has a lot more movement. He took a lot off that fastball. Um, it generally got a lot more movement. Um... And it's usually quite a bit slower, too. And Carlos Gonzalez got injured. Whew. Perfect inning. A bit noisier than the outside prefer, but... And you strike out because you suck. Altuve. Come on, mate. There you go. A nice single. Alright, we're going to do hit and run. Because Ender hits for good contact. Altuve's got really good speed. Yeah, you're afraid he's going to run. Ah, oh, you caught him because he pitched out, you sneaky little shit. Damn it. My moves are not working. Because I'm making moves that are actually fairly stupid. Hit and runs are generally not, are only good in very specific circumstances, and I'm kind of overusing them. A straight steal, of, actually they threw a pitch out, so a straight steal a second one helped. Struck out Susugo. I should be in double play depth. Shit, doesn't matter, he hit it to the outfield. And it's going to score probably. Oh, maybe not. Ah... <sighs> Alright, we're going to do something. I wouldn't normally do this early in the game. I'm going to intentionally walk Sakamoto to set up a double play. For the simple fact that Akiyama's had a really crappy tournament and he's left-handed. Double play depth. I want you to pitch to contact. That is not pitching to contact. Oh, I'm going to hit pitcher around by accident. So we get a weak little flare to this to center field that they actually score on. God damn you! That's actually the right timing, by the way, for the air horn. Every play I'm making, even when I play the percentages, is just not working. I think Japan is just destined to win like they win every freaking year in the World Baseball Classic. Up oh, here comes Miggy. That's a good, solid hit. Alright, Cargo. I want you to cargo deep on this pitch. You know what? With that pun, I wouldn't have hit home run either. I'd have been like, I'm going to pop out just to spite you. I deserve that. Oh, nice ball placement. That was perfect. Come on, Rugned. God, no one can seem to hit the ball out of the bloody infield all of a sudden. He's not that good, guys. Come on. He was their bad pitcher. You're killing me, guys. Perez, I need you to finish this inning. Oh, you might be a bit tired, but I just don't want to have to go to the bullpen too much earlier. Damn, maybe I'll keep you in for the fourth. For a fourth thing. You just dominated. Holy shit, mate. 
Um, I won't even make him take pitches at this point. He's tired. I just haven't been able to capitalize yet. Okay, Perez got on base. All right. Who do I have? Oh, God. I don't have anybody remotely capable batting ratings. Are any of you fast? Escobar is. All right, we're going to pinch run. Is that what I wanted? Yeah, I'm going to pinch run Perez. No, I'm not, because we might need his bat later in the game. Of course, it might not have been a double play. God damn it. We are not executing remotely. I would normally blame the manager for this, but since the manager is me, well, I can't blame myself. Maybe we should have had Perez start. Because they rely pretty heavily on their left-handed players to get a lot of their offense. Maybe it just seems that way. I really need to put on AI defensive alignments, because otherwise I forget to do it. Martin Perez, you deserve a gold medal. Pitching, please. Pitching rating. Uh, Gomez is our closer, so we'll go ahead and warm up Hector Rondon. Or Rondon, maybe. I think it's Rondon, actually. And we'll get a lefty warming up, too. Just in case they get sneaky and pinch hit on us. They shouldn't need to, though. I mean, they've dominated this game because we can't string hits together. We're getting plenty of hits. They're just not happening at the right time. Or Altuve could just stare at three easy pitches... Okay, only one of those people is actually easy to hit, but it was the last one. Yeah, we're just... This has not been... I should have played Japan, and then Japan would have lost. That's what should have happened. Come on, Cargo. <sighs> Such ineptitude. At least they brought in a new pitcher. I don't know what that matters, but they did bring in a new pitcher. All right, so we've got lefty, righty, righty. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Alvarez to pitch to the guy who's only hitting 138, but with our luck, if we brought in a righty, would it a home run? There we go. You did your job. Good job, mate. Now we'll never see you again. Go get him, Rondon. Strike him out. No, that's a ground ball. And the third baseman didn't even try to throw it. Come on, Solarte. And I screwed up again. I didn't put Devil's Play depth. And now we're not going to get a double. Well, we wouldn't have got that anyway because it went to the third baseman. That would have been a tough double play to turn. I struck out Tanaka. Guys, it all comes down to this. we got to get our shit together. And that's not going to help. Or we could just flail helplessly at every pitch and look like a bunch of third graders. There we go. Calling them third graders is what they needed to hear. All right, Salvador, come on. Let's rally. Let's make this interesting. That's an out. Because our stupid center fielder dough for it. Hernan Perez, can you help us? Save us, Hernan. You're our only hope, and we now have no hopes. That wasn't even close. This is one of those games where the box score makes it look closer than it was. They got four runs on nine hits. We got one on ten. This is... Oh, that. Well, Japan will avoid the wrath of manager Shigeru Sug Sugimura. Guys, almost everyone in the lineup got a hit. But you just kept leaving people in position. That was very disappointing. I'm very disappointed in Felix Hernandez. If I would have started with Martin Perez, I bet we might have actually had a chance. Damn. <sighs> and so on a whimper, we end with Out of the Park Baseball 18. Let's take a moment of silence for my horrible ineptitude in managing three different teams to nothing but horrible failure. <sighs> oh 
The worst part is I let Francesco lean door down. I'm a monster. I am history's greatest monster. Right, so that concludes OTP 18. Um, one last time, I'd like to thank everyone who's watched a video, commented, or liked especially. Um, you've kept this channel going when there were times I was like, is it really worth my time? And then someone would send a comment, or I'd see, wow, this has 25 views already, and I just posted it a couple of hours ago. Um, it's really helped me keep the channel going, so I want to thank you for doing that. Um, again, no video early tomorrow. Um, you'll have to wait till tomorrow evening, while I'll have a chance to sit down and, and play my very first game of OTP 19. I'm super pumped. Um... If you're looking for something to do tomorrow, maybe you are off from school because you're on spring break. Maybe you took the day off to play OTP 19, which I would totally have done if I had the option. Maybe check out the past OTP 18 episodes. Maybe take a dive in some of the other games on the channel. But until Thursday, until tomorrow... When we begin with OTP 19, this is Abindian signing off and bidding you good day.